What is up guys, this is Unity Gaming here and in today's video I'm gonna showcase some more gameplay of Orin Sphere on the PlayStation Vita. That is right. So let's see, um, actually as you can see right here I already finished the uh, story of Gwen, uh, Gwen. So yeah, as you can see right here I already finished her story but I unlocked a new character, which is Cornelius. So yeah, in this video we're gonna play as Cornelius. And basically Cornelius is actually, he's, he's a quite cool character. And yeah, he is actually a rabbit or something. I don't even know what kind of creature he is, but he is something. Yeah, so basically, here we go. This is Cornelius, as you can see right here. And yeah, the story basically starts off with him basically being that, well, he's a prince or something like that and then he basically uh, transforms into a rabbit or something like that I don't really know what the hell he is but yeah so in today's video I just decided to showcase basically the gameplay of Cornelius how he how he plays his attack style etc so yeah I just thought I'd do that in this video so yeah let's go ahead and do this uh, let's see so I'm ready to start off from random spot. I'm gonna level 12. Uh, 12. Let's see if we're gonna. Alright, so we're gonna fight some more bears, of course. Teddy bears. Grizzly bears, or whatever the heck, I don't even know. But yeah, as you can see right here, Cornelius actually has some pretty cool attacks uh, compared to Gwen. He can like spin attack, do some various cool stuff. As you can see right here. And I also unlocked. Uh, some new special attacks, for example, as you, as you can see right here, I guess Spark Bolt, and that basically will stun the enemy uh, with a, well, basically, electric bolt if I shoot at, at him. So, yeah, uh, let me try going to show you that. Uh, let's see, I'm, and that's not the right, the right button. Oh, yeah, so apparently, I have to. Okay, there we go. Let's see. Um, Oh, wait, I, I don't think I have enough power for the spark bolt, but that's okay, oh wait. Alright, <laughs> don't mind that, <laughs> that was a fail, but let's go and try again. Alright, so here we go. There we go, this is a spark bolt. Alright, so as you can see right here, he has some pretty cool attacks, as I said. So you can basically spin around, do a tornado kind of attack right here. Uh, let's see, uh, we also have like a plasma circle, I believe that's, yeah, but that's probably the one I just used, but yeah, so he, ha he has a different story this time, but I mean, the general story of uh, Odin Sphere is pretty much tied to every character, I mean, there's like one main story, basically you have to save the c uh, cauldron from not being destroyed or something like that, being stolen by enemies or something. So yeah, basically there's like one main plot across all the characters, but they have like their own little story. Besides that, but they still follow the main plot. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, but <laughs> yeah, basically that's what I'm here about to say. But and, oh my god, this seriously. All right, there we go. There we go. We finished the stage, and let's see our score. Uh, I hope we did get some A, C. Yeah, there we go. Of course, of course, of course. Always the best. Always the best. Uh, let's see. So I'm gonna try to heal myself first. Let's see. Yeah, I'm gonna drink this healing tonic right here but yeah as you can see I'm not really that high leveled I'm level 12 I just recently started playing as him so yeah I didn't really get that far but yeah we do what uh, we do what we can do so yeah alright there we go Take that, goblins. 
Yeah, I don't know, but but yeah, this game has been re re really fun. I've been uh, I've been really enjoying playing this game. And yeah, of course, right now I'm recording from my PS Vita Slim. But yeah, I mainly play this game on the on my uh, Vita 1000 because of the OLED screen. It simply looks beautiful, and yeah, you basically have to play this game on the OLED Vita version to basically get the best experience in my opinion because the colors are not as vibrant on the Vita Slim as it, as it is on um, the OLED Vita and yeah I unlocked a trophy also but yeah right here so let's see basically uh, we follow a story some kind of like uh, like as you can see right here the law of Titania that's basically his city world or whatever and yeah basically what we're trying to do is basically this uh, this character is originally like a human he's not really a rabbit or whatever so basically we're trying to get ourselves into normal state and we're trying to rescue also someone or i believe we're trying to find someone i'm really not sure but yeah but as i said uh, all the characters follow the ma uh, the same main plot like you have to Make sure the cauldron doesn't get, um, well, like, I don't know, taken away by the, uh, by the witch or something like that. I, I really don't know, but <laughs> yeah, I haven't really paid attention to the story. But I mean, I mean, I did really pay attention, but it's sometimes confusing. I really don't know what's going on, but yeah. All right, so let's see any. It's a little bit dark here, I don't know why it's dark, but... What the hell is that? Seriously, there's like a cloud fly f flying all... What? I, I don't even know what... Seriously, I don't know what's going on here, but yeah. Alright, this... This is really weird. I I really don't know where I where I'm at right now and wha what is going on. Really, I don't even know what the heck is going on. But let's see, plasma circle. Let's go and try this one. Uh, spark bolt. Yeah, let's go and try this one. There we go. I believe that's all of them. Yeah, that's all of them. Nice. Now let's see, we got a C rank a bit. Mm. Yep, of course, we got a C rank. Nice, nice. Right, so uh, my bag capacity also expanded. Alright, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. And let's see, we can just go right here. Get like a secret chest. Oh, so apparently that was a trap. Alright, that was that wasn't good. Alright, let's see. Uh oh okay, yeah, there we go. But yeah, I think I will probably end this video somewhere right now maybe. Oh let's see. Is that all of them? I think that's pretty much all of them. But yeah, let's see. Um I don't think there is anything else that I wanted to show. Uh, I just want to show this ca this character that I'm playing with. I mean, he's pretty cool. He's a little bit different compared to Gwen, like the previous character I played as. So yeah, you have different kind of attacks, and you have to basically uh, relearn new combos because yeah, there's a different character. But so far, he's actually pretty cool. And yeah, I mean, I will showcase the other characters, of course, too, because yeah, why not? But so far this character is pretty cool actually, I really like playing as this character. But yeah, I keep saying character because I <laughs> forgot the name of, of him. But yeah, anyways guys, so that's what pretty much wrap this video up of Odin's Fear on the PlayStation Vita playing as a Cornelius. There we go, I remembered his name, but yeah. So that is pretty much it guys, I hope you all enjoyed watching this quick video of... Cornelius basically in Odin's Sphere, some gameplay of him, but yeah, 
and I will pretty much see you all in the next video. Take care guys!